Wales against Trinidad and Tobago first up on court two, a match that will decide who makes that ninth and tenth playoff. Well, neither side has a point in this pool, but both have a point to prove. They picked up only one win in the tournament so far, and that was against teams out of this stage of the competition. Wales come into this one off the back of a defeat to Uganda, Trinidad and Tobago. They were up against one of the tournament favourites in Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago with the first centre pass. Amanda Meinhardt alongside me, the former South African international Mampo Tisetsi on the sidelines. Mampo, your thoughts ahead of this one? Oh, I'm quite excited about this matchup. I must say, if a Georgia Rowe can get into it as quick as possible, I think Wales have a very nice game on their hands here. They'll get a competitive team that's just like them and one that can really drive them to the corners and just, you know, add a bit of character in their game. If uh, only uh, Jolisa from uh, Trinidad and Tobago can settle in as quick as possible because sometimes you don't know which side you're going to get. But when she's on form, yeah, I can tell you now, Noel Afisha is really going to have the time of her life in that front line. She just needs somebody to help her get those balls in. But ladies, we have a really good game on our hands. I think everyone around the arena is still buzzing after that draw for South Africa last night. And it's lifted all sides up on their toes. They're using Georgia Rowe to just pull the defense. They've seen the double on her. Again, loving the movement coming from Rowe. Knows that she's got a double block at the back. And the moment you get her on the move, just break that defensive formation. It's a clever play from the Wales team. Shaw had a little look, but almost ducked under that one. Yeah, but they mustn't start going long balls. They need to know that if it looks too good to be true, it is. It's, it's been set up. So they need to really attack those spaces, play the short balls. It works for them. They mustn't run away from it. Um, Coach, you yes. know, you spoke to them in the break just about really being motivated. Yeah. How do you keep them motivated when they're playing for the positions they are now? Yeah, so what we did in the changing room before, we just keep telling them, play for pride. Pray for your country. Pray for self. So with that being said, we can, you know, you find some self of motivation and yeah just go for it there's nothing to lose right about now we try we're doing everything that we can and we're just going for it playing for pride well i can tell you alina and chantal are certainly hearing you because they are just on fire in that midcourt got to give credit to mccracken there really being on top of dyke and annoying her not making it easy Teresa McCracken, another of these real talented players for Trinidad and Tobago. In terms of feeders, we know that Dyke was high up. And the goal assists and the feeds into the circle. Co-captain for Wales. 97% aim for Georgia Rowe. Cooper and Noel just moving their heads down a little at the moment. They need one of these to be turned. Oh, she gets the ball in that position of ease every single time, Georgia. Two minutes just over of this quarter to wrap it back. Seven goals down on the quarter score. 10 becomes 11 down overall. 50 up for Wales. Trinidad at the moment just not having the options. See Mungle, it's been quiet today, but I think it's been the defensive work of Jones. Just really stopping her from doing the work. And again, the lovely long ball into row. Lovely shot. And it must really give a lift. We see so many of the players with the, the heavy strapping on over the top. I think nowadays you get all wow. these performance enhancement strapping. I would be straight. Uh, I would be strapped up right to the top if that could enhance my performance. For the 
the very first time at a Netball World Cup. They have beaten Trinidad and Tobago at the ninth time of asking. Their first win over them, their first win in the second stage, their highest quarter score, their highest score overall.